Hey. I got a message saying, um, I think you've missed something. The all, uh, In all my list building tutorials, in all my nation tutorials, I sort of have skipped a few nations. Some of them deliberately, some of them because, well, they haven't been requested. And some of them just because it can be difficult. But this one is one I should have done. This is my how to build a competitive French list. And notice here, I am doing this prior to all the tough gut changes. I'm not including any of those. I'm just going by how to build French without tough gut because tough gut, all of that is for late war French, right? That is for American supplies, French, uh, free French troops. I'm going to build an early war French army based on basically generic reinforced French platoon um, that has the, the theme of being competitive, but being like the, the French army before uh, Vichy and all of that. So that is what I'm going to try to do today. So I will take you to easy army here. We go and get ourselves a French reinforced platoon. Now, the first thing you notice once you go in here is that the free French, uh, sorry, the French have two artillery slots. This means that as soon as you can spam something, something, you have to figure out if that something is good. And if it is good, then you really, really, really should be taking it. So for me, I think going medium howitzer is very very solid choice and i think i'll go with a spotter as well we're going through a thousand points here um because you can get a free medium house as well and i'm getting myself one of these and i'm buying a spotter for that as well this means i have a, quite a lot I'll, I'll have visibility to most of the, the board no matter what happens and i already have quite a lot of he now i want to emphasize that um, because I'm trying to build what's called a leaf blower list here, because that is what, having two artillery pieces, that is what it lends itself into. So I want to go and get myself a mortar. Now, I'm taking the biggest one I can, but I, uh, for me, personally, I am going to go inexperienced medium mortar because I am at a point where I really don't need my mortars to be regular and have a spotter. You do that when you want to avoid enemy snipers. But most of the time, I don't find that to be a problem at all. Um, I can just deploy my mortar and then move it out somewhere where the sniper can't see me. So that will be it for me. Now, free artillery, of course, getting myself one of these, because why not? So, so that's that's the basis of everything I am going to ever try to do with um, with French. Now, one of the the key things that they have also is look at this. They have three armored car slots, and that is because in one of them you can pick an early war motorcycle. Now, early war motorcycles, if you don't know this, are absolutely freaking amazing. You can fit them out with all of this different stuff if you want to. I'm not sure I do. I find that the LMG forward facing makes it an absolutely amazing little darker vehicle. And because they have recce, turn on the spot, they're very, very maneuverable. I will absolutely get myself. And and this, because it's a, like, um, if you take one, you can select three. So I'm immediately going to do that. Because that is a very good competitive choice. So this will not only now I know I not only have um, HE, um, which I'm going to to like deliver to the enemy, but I also have darker range darker to to shoot at the enemy here. Now, and look at that. I've only spent 235 points. 
We have to take an officer, and I'm going to try and take the cheapest one I can get, so an inexperienced second lieutenant. Here we go. And then we have a good selection of uh, of different infantry choices here. Um, you can go inexperienced and try to go horde. You can go cavalry, which could be interesting as well. Um, or you could go like Foreign Legion and, and Senegalese or, or what have you. I think I want to start with just a few regular infantry sections. It doesn't need to be fancy always, right? So I'm getting myself and I'm just arming these with box standard rifles. You could go VB launcher, 20 points, it's a light mortar. But I think for this purpose that we're going to do here, I just want skirmishes because this is going to be a skirmish heavy army, I think. Um, one more of these, yes. Now, in order to make our skirmishes work, we're going to need some standoff power and um, we're going to need some anti-tank power as well and this is one of the things that, that the French are lacking in because it is a very early war uh, army but let's take an anti-tank rifle just to have something um, let's also grab ourselves a sniper team because that lends itself well to the forward deployment the skirmishes as well and then go grab more of these regular infantry skirmishes I'm going to go all out skirmish here this means that I can deliver a lot of shots. I have a lot of order dice as well um, to, to deliver those shots with. And that's a lot of pins as well. Here we go. More skirmishes, more skirmishes all the way. Oh, that's an extra selection of some sort. Right. Now. If we look at the, um, the transport selection here, there are some interesting choices. <coughs> so the Berry Lay, it's a really interesting choice. It's got seven man transport and a forward facing LMG. So I'm getting myself a few of these as well because they could very easily be transporting our skirmishes to where they need to go and then skirmishes can get out or these can just sit on the back line they're seven plus they're close topped so they're not going to be able to damage them with uh, with rifle fire um, just I'm clearing one of these to check something out just a sec back let's see do we can we know right there yeah that's the thing uh, if the French had access to um, any engineer units that you could stuff in the berry lays, that would be a really awesome choice. But as is, they're just very, very good backline holders, very, very good skirmish support. We're taking those. Now, for the um, cannons, sorry, the, the tanks, we're trying to get ourselves a a char bibis, I think. Is that the one? Yeah, but that's the expensive one. Look, this has all the guns, right? This is a Death Star. You've got a light AT gun, you've got a forward facing uh, howitzer, and a whole mounted uh, MMG. Um, that is just, it's too many shots. It's not worth it. We're getting ourselves a char 2C, I think. Turret mounted light howitzer, front and side arcs. MMG, 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 MMG. That is a medium tank. So we could go char 2C. And you, you can tell I'm really not uh, used to these uh, French tanks, right? T's are also an interesting choice. This is a light AT gun. 
the other one is a let's see that's the Citroen like a T gun I'm looking to see if I can find a I think I remember there being a mm, auto cannon somewhere But we are going to try and get ourselves one of these. 580, that's not it. 202D, boom, boom, boom. Light RT, well, and one whole nugget. You know what? It's a one man turret now. I don't want to do that. I've even seen some people go with the AMCs. I think the Chubby one. No, uh, that wasn't it. That was the, uh, it's the Chubby uh, one. The, the c that's it. I think that's the best choice we can get. It'll get us another howitzer, but it will push us above in points. So we're going to have to save points somewhere. So where do we want to save the points? You know what? Sorry, the anti-tank rifle. That needs to go. It's the thing that we can most easily live without. So, this would be my suggestion to run a competitive French army. Not free French, French army. You get 17 order dice at a thousand points. Second lieutenant inexperienced, and then five skirmish sections of infantry. These need to keep in your own half of the table always. You should never push them up towards the enemy's back line. They can't stand up in a fight. They're just regulars. Don't go there. Even the, the free infantry sections, they won't stand up. Then we have all our uh, HE spam, which comes in the form of the medium mortar, the medium artillery pieces, and the char to C with the light howitzer as well. And this, of course, have all the machine guns too, right? So this is a machine gun tank and a howitzer, which is kind of brilliant. Very expensive, though. And then we have all the darker in the forms of our motorcycles with side gun, uh, sidecars and machine guns and our berry lays, which will support our skirmishers. They'll push up along with our skirmishers and, and in the center of the board, darker the enemy, delivering those pins, making sure that each enemy unit that you're targeting has at least two pins, because that is the key to running skirmish armies. So this would be my suggestion for, for a competitive French army build. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.